you may be sitting there looking at your computer screen saying, hey, who is that douchebag sitting there talking to me in the middle of the woods? And that douchebag would be me. I am BM2341. It's not my actual name, obviously. That is my YouTube name, where I do Yugi tubing. And I'm here in the middle of the woods to talk to you about a little something that's been on my mind. See, middle of the woods brought you out to a nice location. It's sundown too, ain't that romantic? So what I wanted to talk to you about today is the tier list. This is not gonna be a meta discussion. This is not going to be a discussion about what I think about the meta. This is not going to be an analysis of what the meta is going to be because I'm sick of talking about it. I'm sure you're all sick of hearing about it because everyone has talked about it to fucking death. So what I'm gonna talk to you about is that the tier list does not fucking matter. What do I mean by the tier list does not matter? What I mean is that any deck of any speed, of any era, can take on any deck of any speed and any era at any given time and win. Just because you're playing Fire Fist, just because you're playing Evil Swarm, just because you're playing Dragon Ruler does not mean that you automatically lose unless you happen to have a really bad matchup against that particular deck. It is very easy for a Crystal Beast player to kick the shit out of a Prophecy player if they know their plays, if they can do what they do well, and if they can set up the field better than the Prophecy player can. Now, I'm not going to deny that a power gap does exist between certain decks. Obviously, a deck like Dragon Rulers is very fast when compared to something like Gravekeepers. And speaking of that particular matchup, Gravekeepers actually have a really good matchup against that. Why? Because they have Necro Valley, which locks down the E-Dragon's graveyard. Slower deck, lower tier. Very good chance of winning. Perfect example of this working in other games is Super Smash Bros. Melee. Fox and Falco are top tier. A really good Ganondorf, who is really good at using his moves, really good at using his aerials, and really good at not relenting, and really good at making sure that he trades hits, is going to beat the shit out of any mediocre Falco and mediocre Fox 100% of the time. All the tier list is, is a representation of what you see top the most at regionals, YCSs, and other events. It's a matter of representation, not speed and power. Just because something is top tier does not mean that you can't win against it. Just because something is top tier does not mean that it is unkillable. It does not mean that it is broken. It does not mean that it is tier zero. And it does not mean that it is all you're going to see. You're going to see it most of the time, but that doesn't mean that it's unbeatable. In fact, you should be glad if it's a one deck format, because that just means that your side deck is that much easier to prepare and you can make them lose to it a lot harder. Think about it this way, if all we had were E-Dragons to deal with, if you did not play E-Dragons, your side deck would be a 15 card arsenal against them. You would side in your entire side deck just to kick the shit out of them. Sure, they'd be really fast and they'd be tier zero and all anyone ever plays, but you would be prepared. Just because you play something like Prophecy does not mean that you're going to win 100% of the time. Just because you play something like Crystal Beast does not mean that you're going to lose 100% of the time. It's all a matter of how you can play, how you know your cards, and how well you're protected against their shenanigans. The tier list should not deter you from playing what you want. The tier list should not deter you from going to events. It should not deter you from doing anything. If you want to play and you know your plays and you're confident that you can win, then fucking go for it. So thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my channel at youtube.com slash bm2341. I do videos like this where I talk about things in the middle of a forest. I do openings of shit very rarely. I sometimes do duels, but very rarely. And I am occasionally funny, but very rarely. Also, be sure to check out Galactic God's channel. He's the dude whose page you're watching this on right now. And thank you again for letting me host this on your page. And thank you for watching again, and I will see you all later.